Hello, welcome back to TCG Dreamland. We've got another box of Temporal Forces here. Very nice. Our first box had both a lot of hits and a really good special illustration rare. So go check out that video if you haven't. It's a good one. I also talked about how I'm going to be doing giveaways in the future, which if you haven't heard about it yet, I'm going to be doing giveaways in the future. So make sure to subscribe. All right. So I just want to get right into this. We've looked at most of the commons and stuff in the first box, so I'm going to go a little quicker. I'm just going to skim through like this. All right, we've got Relicanth. Oop, make sure I'm in frame and stuff. And Charger Bug, Illustration Rare, right off the bat. Very cool. Powering all of the electronic devices. All right, and a the Dun Sparse. Very cool. Illustration Rare to start us off. Hopefully we can get a special illustration rare of one of the uh, legendaries in the set. There are six of them. Got the Dog Trio and the Three Musketeers Trio from, I think they're from Silver and Gold and Black and White. I think the Three Musketeers are Black and White. Am I correct on that? We've got Tranquil, Scyther, Bramblegast, codes for you as always, Pikachu, oh nice, I don't think I even pulled a Pikachu in the last box, maybe I just wasn't paying attention, Sizzlipede, Reunculus, or Reuniclus, and Iron Boulder, there you go, there's the Terrakion. Very cool. Future EX. Our last box had seven double rare EXs, it was kind of insane. All right, Medicham, boxed order. We've got Reverse Colossal. Arbok and Coridon. All right, Meryl, Golet. I like Golet. All right, Ghastly Reverse. Very cool. Carcoal, Whimsicott. I would really like a full art Gengar, even though it's just a full art. I really like full arts, and Gengar is super cool. So, hoping to get one of those. Raichu, Rescue Board. We've got Reverse Bronzong, P Dove, and Iron Thorns, which is the future Tyranitar. I don't know why they decided to give them all weird names. Snom. Rock Rough. The Mist Energy. All right. Relor. Reverse. Electabuzz. Reverse. And Drampa. The old Dragon Grandpa. Ghastly, Iron Jugulus, we've got Fornatris, Lickitung, and Maridon, Hollow Rare. Looking for more of those Ace Spec cards. Those are really cool looking. They need to do that kind of treatment with more stuff in the future. It's interesting, Every, all of these companies are kind of trying out different foilings and stuff. Wiglet, Litten, Melmetal. P 
Pokemon and Magic the Gathering have both been trying new stuff. With Pokemon, it's very apparent the cool things that they're doing. With Magic the Gathering, they're kind of just doing slightly different holographic patterns on the face of the card. So it's like there's a little bit of a difference, but they're all called something different. Torterra EX. So it's like they look similar, but they're called different things. And they are slightly different if you compare them, like the halo foiling and the, the uh, whatever it was with the set I just opened. What are they, what are they calling them? I forget. I'm not in Magic the Gathering mode right now. Explorer's Guidance. We've got Deerling. Very cool. Cutie Fly. Relicanth. Meryl Golet. Vika Volt. Got Sharpedo. Lichen Rock and ooh, a Scizor Full Art. That is a good looking card. I just really like how clean the full arts look. That art style is just really striking. Like the whole Pokemon is outlined in silver for this set or for this gen. Usually each generation does like a different color. If you look back at full arts from like XY, Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield. They have like different color outlining the Pokemon on the full arts. Colossal. We've got an LGM, Charger Bug, and Mag Cargo. We are we're at four hits. Okay, so that's not terrible. We're almost done with the first half of the box. That is a little bit underwhelming. Meltan. Rockruff. Ooh, Prime Catcher. Very cool. This is one of those ace specs I was telling you about. Look at the foiling pattern, how the diamonds like change like that in the light. That is just so cool. I'm very pleased with how these turned out. That is very cool. Oh, and a Chitat. Look at that. Very cool. Oh, so it's in the first reverse slot. Interesting. So theoretically, you could get three hits in a pack if you're counting those ace specs as a hit. The ace spec takes the first hollow, the first reverse hollow rare slot. And then it's the illustration rare in the next one. And then your regular set hits are like the you know, the other ones that aren't illustrations in the last slot. Interesting. Sableye, Shift Tree, Coridon. All right, so Prime Catcher. The Ace Specs are kind of like half point hitters. They don't seem too incredibly rare. If you know back from uh, XY, they had those like horizontal cards. You would get like one or two of them in a box. That's kind of the same rarity as they're doing with these ace specs. Heat more, Drampa. Cottony, Tur Twig, Ribombi. We've got Feraligator, very cool. Cottony and Iron Crown EX. Double rare. Very cool. All right, second half of the box. So we got a bunch of hits right at the last few packs of the first half, so we're actually doing great on hits now. Electivire. I want to reverse Electivire. That would be cool. Drampa. Rabska. Iron Valiant. Q. 
Cutie Fly. Go Lurk, nice. We've got Bramblin, Frost Moth, Iron Leaves EX Double Rare. Very cool, the Verizian. All right, Snom, Mudbray, Morty, Explorer's Guidance, Roserade, and Coridon. All right, pretty cool. Still looking for our special illustration rare for the box. I'm hoping it's one of the legendaries and not a trainer. Rock Ruff, Mawile, and the Dunsparce. Although I will say the gold iron crown is also pretty striking. It is a good looking card. The golds I really like as well. It's funny, I like the full arts and the golds, which the golds are actually the same artworks as the full arts usually. It's just with the gold background. So no wonder I like them if I like one of them. But uh, yeah, those golds I really like as well. And those are kind of underpriced. A lot of those are underpriced in my opinion, considering they're basically just as rare as the special illustration rares and the alt arts from Sword and Shield. All right, Roly Coley. Minchino, illustration rare. Very cool. So that is three illustration rares. You typically get three in a box. So that is probably all of our illustration rares. Hopefully we can get a special illustration rare. There we go. All right, Scyther, cool. Gladius, Ekans Reverse, Bramblegast, and Mag Cargo. Arbok Totodile, very nice. Sharpedo, we've got Reverse Meditite, Salvatore, and Maridon, Hollow Rare. All right, Electabuzz, Giraffe Rig, Lichen Rock, Azumarill, Chinchino. Gengar EX, double rare, very cool. Put that one down here with the other double rares, most of them. I do have that Iron Leaves up there. In fact, let's do that. I'm expecting, I mean, you typically will get a special illustration rare or a gold secret rare per box. So I'm kind of leaving that slot open top center for the best hit of the box. Excadrill. We've got a Noctowl. And, ooh, Morty's Conviction. So there's our special illustration rare. It was literally like the one card that I didn't want. <laughs> but that's all right. I haven't pulled it yet, so that's always cool. Pulling something you haven't pulled yet is always fun. I'd rather pull something I haven't pulled than just pull the same card over and over, even if it's the most expensive card in the set, you know what I mean? I've said that multiple times in the past, and I still believe that to be true. All right, Relor, Delcaddy, we've got Poochiana, Hand Trimmer, and Melmetal.
You know, now that I think about it, it has been quite a while since we've had a standard set for Pokemon. A full 36-pack booster box. It's been several months. This is the first actual booster box set of 2024. Last time we had one was like right at the beginning of fourth quarter of 2023. It has been quite a while. All right. Heavy Baton, Sandy Shocks, a Reboot Pod. Interesting. Very cool. Man, I am in love with the hollow pattern on that. How it changes. That, those are really cool. Sandy Shocks and Fluttermane. Torquette. We've got Iron Thorns Reverse, followed by the Ancient Energy Capsule and Roaring Moon. So this is actually reprints because they've already had the Ancient and Future, future Energy Capsules. So these are reprints, but they are making that a big mechanic in the game now, so they kind of need it. Because if it's something you need, then they want to keep it cheap. So there's going to be reprints in the main sets, and there's also probably going to be collection boxes with them at some point. Snom, Zeraora, Maridon EX, double rare. Very cool. We are down to the last three packs. Maybe we can get something good. Croconaw, Explorer's Guidance, Iron Hands. We've got Turtonator, Reverse, followed by the Buddy Buddy Poffin, and ooh, Full Art Pokemon. Gotta love it. That's our second Full Art Pokemon of the box. Very nice. Raging Bolt. Very cool. Very, very cool. At some point, I'm going to start putting together a huge collection of Pokemon cards. Saw's Buck, Nuzleaf, Unpheasant, Iron Valiant. Yeah, I'm planning on actually going like all the way back to black and white when they first started doing full arts and just getting everything that's like full art and above for every set essentially. You know, and even the cards that I like really, really like, I want to get like graded tens of them, even if it's like a cheap card, just because I like it. You know, it's not even like about the money or anything. It's just like, like I've said in the past, I have graded Rillabooms and that card's like dirt cheap nowadays. Ooh, very cool. Terra EX, Wug Trio. That was the last pack. We had some last pack magic. Very cool. Wow, so three full art Pokemon. That's cool. We had three full art Pokemon. Scizor and Raging Bull. Both Gen 2 Pokemon. Those are pretty good. So those were pretty good. And we got Morty's Conviction, which I don't think is good as Bianca, but still pretty cool. Bianca's Devotion, that is. There we go. The Gengar is super cool, though. It's a very good-looking card. Oh, look, the Pidgey there as well. Very cool. All right, so that was box two. Planning on doing one more booster box, so make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys then.